Update 21.7 went live on the 8th of September 2017. The main focus of the update was the release of three new weapons and a cosmetic armor set. First up we have the Arca Plasmal, which is a corpus pump action shotgun that was showcased a while back in Devstream 91. The weapon fires out a plasma blast that mainly deals in impact damage. It also has an innate punch through towards enemies, and also any units that survive its initial blast will be consumed by a radiation proc. Next up, there's the Arca Cisco, a corpus scope pistol that's much like the Nell. However, the Cisco's special mechanic is that it will gain status and critical chance by landing consecutive hits. With each hit, you'll learn a stack, which will then equal an increase in status and critical chance by 4% for a maximum of 20% at the full 5 stacks. Just like the Nell, these stacks will deteriorate if you don't hit a shot. Now both the Plasmor and the Cisco can be researched in the Corpus Lab at your Clan Dojo, or can be purchased through the market for Platinum. The Plasmor costs 190 and the Cisco costs 200 Now the third and final weapon is the Titron, which is a pulsating electric hammer that lets off an electric blast upon using a slam attack. Now you can increase the slam's damage by earning stacks through kills. 10 kills equals 10 stacks. For every time you earn a stack, you'll have 20 seconds to either make use of the extra damage or to kill another enemy so that you can keep the stacks rolling in. The final note is that killing enemies with slam attacks won't count towards your stacks, so just keep that in mind. Now, unlike the previous two weapons, the Titron's blueprint can be purchased in the market for credits. Lastly, there's the Arca Armor Set, which is a large bulky set that can be purchased in the market for 100 platinum. Now all of these items that I just mentioned can be purchased in a bundle, if that's your type of thing, and you have the Platinum, and it'll cost you 550 Platinum. Now with all of that out of the way, let's go over some changes and additions. They added a combo counter to the HUD when using the dual wield glaive and pistol mode. Barricadeer will now have a navigation panel, and an alert panel when he's hanging out in the relays every fortnight. They've made a few changes to the new player experience, such as blocking out access to the navigation after defeating Vor for the first time, just so Lotus can inform players on the quest tab and other small snippets of information. The other change they made was the edit as to how quest nodes will be lit up when a new quest node is available. The Proto Excalibur skin and the Nemesis Nick skins have finally received their PBR treatment, and the Nell's headshot buff now decays one stack at a time at two seconds per stack. Now as usual, all of the fixes to both the main game and Conclave are up on the screen right now just for you to read. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.